Today, I'm going to dive into how I've combined some of my favorite digital tools with paper planning to make the most ultimate hybrid planning system. Hey, it's Winda from Windowful.com, and if you are like me, you have tried both paper planning and digital planning, and both just doesn't seem to work for you. Staying organized can be really tricky. We have digital tools like Apple Calendar or ClickUp for tracking appointments, but they can feel overwhelming, especially if you have notifications on. And sometimes when you have too many notifications, you start ignoring them. On the other hand, paper planners offer that tactile satisfaction but aren't as flexible for quickly shifting tasks. I used to feel like I always had to pick one or the other until I realized that I can use both. So I have built a unique hybrid system where each tool serves a unique purpose and here's how I do it. So my paper planner is my go-to for focusing on my daily, weekly, and monthly plans. I also have trackers in here. I have the habit tracker for my self-care, my workouts. I have project lists in here and everything. There's just something about writing things down that really helps me to focus and stay on track. So for me, it's important to see everything laid out visually because I like color coding. So I use this color code and you can see that the colors all match with my monthly planning. I have green for family, pink for personal, blue for my husband, and then I have this bluish green for family events. And it just really helps me to see at a glance everything that's going on without overwhelming me. This is like a copy of my Apple calendar, but I like having it on paper as well, just as an extra reminder. And it just really helps me to solidify things. And then when I go into the week, that's where I take tasks from my ClickUp. So I would check my ClickUp before I start planning my week. And then I will take things that I am working on and sometimes I'll break them down in ClickUp, sometimes I don't. And then I'll just break them down into smaller tasks that I can put into my weekly plan. So you can see I have a big project for creating a Notion hub that's similar to my ClickUp one. So I wanted to work on one section of it tomorrow. And then I also wanted to post a Halloween freebie tomorrow. I'm working on my hybrid video and editing it. I do have a project tracker for my YouTube videos that walks me through doing all of these tasks and everything. For example, right here, I'll have my videos for scripting, recording, editing, and that is all on my ClickUp as well. But I like having it here because as I'm working on it, I can check it off as I go. Whereas with ClickUp, I mostly use it for storing information. So like the graphics from Canva, I would save it to there. If I have the video exported, I would save it into there. The description and tags are all in there. It wouldn't make sense to put all that into a paper planner. So having ClickUp for all of these little details really helps me. So I love using ClickUp for my bigger projects and breaking things down and also for reference information. So you can see here in my personal and home, when I'm on the go and I have a link that I want to save or something that I need to do, like maybe a birthday party or something, I would just put it directly into my household folder so that I can come back to it later. So for example, the skate world birthday party that my daughter wanted to do, I can just link it into here through my phone. Then there's also the household hub, which is like my important information for my family, my kids, my house, everything like medical. So this is everything that is included and I can just fill out all of the important information and just have it on me at all times. And then I also have my big projects, my content creation. So you can see all of my workflows that I can just break it down into tasks. And then every time I finish it, I have a record and I put my files into here as well. And then of course, where my courses and my shop as well. So that's what I use ClickUp for. And it's just so helpful because um, I have a lot of files and I do have an online business. So it only makes sense that some things stay digital because it wouldn't be as organized if I were to do everything on paper. So having ClickUp is very helpful for me for just storing my files, my videos, all of my big ideas and just my big projects. And then I take what's in ClickUp, like my big projects or whatever, and say this week I want to record some of these. 
videos, then I would write it down into my planner. Okay, so here is my Apple calendar. I love using it strictly for places I have to actually be at. So I only put events and everything that requires a place and time that I need to be at. So you won't see any of my tasks on here anymore because I didn't like whenever I was at the doctor's appointment and I would have to schedule a time. My whole month would look booked because I was putting my tasks into here. So now I just put my task in my paper planner and I mainly use my Apple calendar for our family events, places I need to be, or if my husband needs to be somewhere, we keep everything here so that we aren't double booking ourselves. You'll see here that all of these tasks here are places where we actually need to be at. They are actual appointments and not just tasks. And the best part of a digital calendar is that you will get the reminders of when it's time to leave or when it's an hour before your appointment so that you are never losing track of where you need to be. And I just like having it on the go with me because let's say if I'm out running errands and someone texts me to schedule a lunch date, I don't always have my paper planner on me. So I would, I could just open up Apple Calendar, check my availability and add the lunch meeting right there. So like I can see that the 12th, there's nothing going on. So I can easily just add a task for lunch at 1 p.m. on October 12th. And then if I add that, then it will pop up on the 12th for me. And then when I'm doing my weekly planning, that's when I can add these tasks into my weekly planner so that it's a extra reminder for me because I tend to forget things very easily. Okay, so on the side of our fringe, we have this magnetic calendar. It's just a central area for us so that we can see what's going on throughout the month. We have our events encountered on here so that we can all be aware of what's going on. This is perfect for the little ones in my family since they don't have the phone so that they can see what's happening in our month. Okay, so here is my Apple Reminders app. So this is the Apple Reminders app that I use for just keeping track of things when I'm on the go. And I, my husband uses this as well. So he doesn't like using ClickUp. He doesn't like downloading extra apps or whatever. So we use the native apps. That's why we use Apple Calendar and Apple Reminders and Apple Notes as well. We use the Apple Reminders for mostly our shopping list. This is the one that we collaborate the most with. I share this with him. And every time one of us updates it, it automatically updates to their phone as well. We also have it for our bills so that we remember to pay the ones that aren't auto pay. I like using the packing list. I actually have a like template. You can actually make templates in here so you can see view templates. And then you can see I have a Paul's packing list, bills to pay, and then our Christmas list. With Christmas coming around, I can easily just add a template for the Christmas list, and then it'll create all the gifts that we need to buy. And it'll just make a brand new list. So I like using that for packing. And then we have just some household reminders. So just like a lot of measurements type stuff. So if I'm at the store and I need to buy one of these, I have the measurements on hand already. So that's basically what I use Apple reminders for. But yeah, mainly the shopping list. And I love the new shopping list because if you type in anything, let's say I put lettuce, it will automatically categorize it for you. So you see it made a category called produce. So it just automatically makes your grocery shopping so much easier because everything's going to be in the produce or the canned foods or household, things like that. So I really love using the shopping list for Apple reminders. Okay, so lastly, I use Apple Notes just to store a lot of documents or notes or whatever. I don't use ClickUp for this because a lot of the things that are in here, I like to share with my husband. And again, he likes using the native apps only. So this is where I put things. So for example, I have a folder just for my dog when we first got him. So we have like documents in here. I did a potty training log for him when we first got him where I just like made a table chart. It's just easy to write when we took him out and things like that when we were potty training him. And he was potty trained in like less than a week, probably because of this potty training log. Um, we have a shopping list for him. There's an advanced dog trick 
PDF that I just input into here. So I really love that Apple Notes, you can put your files into here. And the cool thing about Apple Notes is that you can protect your info as well. So for example, I store my mom and dad's important information here. But you can see that this note is locked. So I either have to put my touch ID on my Mac or enter my password to view this. So I like that it's safe there and everything. And then I just have warranties for like our TV. And I used to just take a picture of the warranty and the receipt. So I like just having it all in here so that if I need to, I can easily access it. We like to also use it for our wish lists. So like here is my like 12 year old's birthday wish list last year. You can see I shared it with him here so that he can edit it himself as well. And then just some random notes. So that's what I like putting into my notes app. Okay, so very briefly, I want to explain and summarize how my paper and digital tools work together to form this hybrid system. So we have digital and then we have paper. So for my digital, I use ClickUp for managing large projects, my home information systems, and more longer term things. It's the perfect place to help me break down bigger tasks and just track progress over time. And then we have Apple Calendar, which is my go-to for keeping track of appointments, family schedules, and just syncing events with my family. And it just helps keep everybody in the loop. And I also get reminders of the important events when they need to happen. And then we have reminders. So again, I use that mainly, mainly for the shopping list portion, but we also have our bills on there and just little reminders if I'm on the go and I don't have my paper planner with me. And then I also use the notes app for putting in PDFs, um, files and everything like that. I can put that into ClickUp, but I just found that it's a lot easier to do in notes. And then if I needed to share with my husband, he can get it pretty quickly that way too. And then we have my paper planner and I use that mainly for planning. So like my monthly, weekly and daily is in here. And I like having it in front of me It's visual. I can color code it and everything. And it just gives me the clarity that I need. So I take things from ClickUp or from Apple Calendar and I instill it into my paper planner. And then I also like to use it for tracking. It just keeps me more mindful. It helps me to stay on top of my health, stay on top of my finances, stay on top of my business. And so I really love tracking here because when I was tracking it digitally, whether it was a habit tracker app or in ClickUp or anything, it was often ignored and I wouldn't keep track of it. But now that it is in my planner, I can really see my habits forming like a picture formally and seeing like my patterns and everything. So you see, it's just visual and I am a visual person. So I think that just really helps me out. So I just love using this hybrid system because it gives me the flexibility of paper planning where I can visually lay out my day, my weeks and months, but with the backup of digital tools that make sure that I never lose track of the bigger picture. So I have some tips for syncing your paper and digital planning. So these are just gonna make your hybrid system feel more natural. So the first thing is to make sure that you keep it simple. You don't need to duplicate every single task across both systems and make sure that each tool has a purpose. So I use my paper planner for mostly weekly planning and like tracking things. And then I use ClickUp for more detailed projects and breaking things down and storing information. So you could see that they're not really the same. They're not used for the same exact tool. They're both not used for planning. I don't use ClickUp really for planning or time blocking or anything like that. It's just like a storage place for me. And then make sure that you sync your calendars. So make sure that your paper and digital calendars are all in sync. I like using my digital planner for appointments so that it gives me that reminder, but I also like writing it in my planner so that I can prepare for it mentally on paper before the week starts. And then the third and final tip is to make sure that you are customizing it to your needs. So this system works for me because I have, you know, tailored each tool to serve a specific purpose. So your hybrid system should reflect what you need, what your family needs and how you guys work together. So whether it's project management, 
or house chores or meal planning, whatever it is, it should work for you. So yeah, that's how I use my hybrid planning system to stay organized. And make sure that you click the link below if you want to learn more about hybrid planning. I have a little guide with a little quiz and questionnaire for you so that you can set up your own system. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more planning tips and productivity hacks. I'll see you guys next time.